jury is deliberating the fate of the man accused of killing two doctors in their South Boston penthouse condo. The prosecution is calling the murders a planned attack. The defense is arguing this was a case of self-defense. WBZ's Mike LaCrosse has been in the courtroom for this trial. He joins us live now with more. Mike? Lisa, the jury deliberated for about two hours without reaching a verdict. Before that, they heard from the defense and the prosecution one last time. You are about to embark on one of the most difficult things that you are called to do. Van Poom to share his attorney, Stephen Sack, makes his roughly 45 minute closing argument before the jury on day 10 of the murder trial. He reminds them the prosecution must prove beyond a reasonable doubt. It doesn't mean possibly somebody's guilty. Doctors Lena Bolanos and Richard Field were stabbed to death inside their South Boston penthouse May 5, 2017. Their family and friends held back tears as Sack repeatedly claimed to share a killed Dr. Field in self defense and that his client was having an affair with Bolanos. He told Sergeant Devane, and now you've heard that he did kill Richard Field, but he killed in self defense. And that's not murder. There was no real or imagined relationship between the defendant and Lena Bolanos. Roughly 30 witnesses and 300 exhibits were presented in the trial. During his closing argument, Prosecutor John Pappas says the evidence is overwhelming. He showed the jury some of the items again that had been linked to the defendant, including a bag containing masks, a fake mustache, and duct tape. Pappas also holds up a BB gun he says to share a had. Who's running around with this stuff? Pappas says Teixeira planned out his attack and robbery, having knowledge of the building as a former employee. He said Teixeira's statement to police was a made up story that has too many gaps. No more time to say he's the protector of Lena. No more time to say he's acting in self defense. Deliberations will resume at 9 a.m. tomorrow. The jury is considering seven counts, including first degree murder. Reporting live in Boston, I'm Mike LaCrosse, WBZ News. All right.